all right guys um i got i think i might watch one more video but you're gonna see this like you're gonna see this on today tomorrow sunday so you'll see this on sunday and then you'll see the other one on Monday. But anyway, guys, um, this one I'm reacting to um, rappers' re reaction to 6ix9ine's Gooba and Instagram Live and stuff like that. So, and it's supposed to be featuring Drake, Snoop Dogg, and Meat Mill. I don't know for real, but because you, you know people be clip baiting. But we're just going to watch it. We got to see what he got to say. This video is by Lyrical Central and uh, or Lyric Central. Let's get into it. Ever since 6ix9ine was released from jail, I think we've all been waiting and anticipating for 6ix9ine to come back out and drop some music and, more importantly, get back to his antics. Now, on May 8th, 6ix9ine dropped his new song, Gooba, along with the music video on YouTube. 6ix9ine yeah. loved his fans and everyone else know that he was going live on Instagram the same day, and he didn't disappoint. 6ix9ine absolutely smashed Instagram's world record with 2 million people watching live. Fans, rappers, and haters around the world all tuned in to see what 6ix9ine had to say. Aside from flexing his one-of-a-kind diamond Richard Milley watch and other jewelry, 6ix9ine wanted to promote his new song. The other reason the New York rapper went live? To clear the air with everything going on. 6ix9ine's only been seen as a rat, locked up for these past couple of years. <laughs> now we get to hear what he has to say. On Instagram Live, Live, rapper stood in what would be a small bedroom with a ceiling fan and a neatly made bed behind him. 6ix9ine flexed a diamond encrusted shark pennant costing $500,000. If you take a portion of the live stream to apologize to all of his fans, he went on to say, I want to say that I'm sorry to my fans because you know what? It wasn't worth it. It wasn't. If 6ix9ine would break down the whole situation on why he snitched, and he said it was the fact that his crew wasn't loyal to him, 6ix9ine ended up saying, I snitched, I ratted, but who was I supposed to be loyal to? Apparently members of the gang were sleeping with his baby mama, That's stealing tough. millions of dollars from him, kidnapped him, even beat him up. 6ix9ine was facing up to 37 years in prison with all the charges against him. 6ix9ine was released early, and he's currently still on house arrest. Thankful to be home, 6ix9ine said during the stream, I want to say thank you to the judge for allowing me to come home to my family. Now after all that, 6ix9ine came alive teasing other rappers, positioning his flip to become a cooperating witness as part of a comeback narrative. Some rappers were mad. Multiple artists and celebrities commented during the Instagram live, and yeah, they all had different things to say. Bad Baby and Amber Rose both commented with laughing emojis during 6ix9ine's rants and antics. Lil Nas X took it a little further, and he said, no homo, you're looking kind of cute. DDG commented no capity with a laughing face emoji. They followed it up with a few 100 emojis. One of the most interesting comments during the whole show, the fact that Lil TJ commented saying SMA. Yeah, Since 6ix9ine has been in jail, Lil TJ has taken rap by storm. And he even went as far as to proclaim himself as the king of New York. During the live, 6ix9ine was clowning Lil TJ and he said, we can't be. Me and y'all not the same. Y'all not the kings of New York. Look at the numbers. How can y'all let that kid rap? How can y'all let him rat and come home and still get more numbers than us? Break all the records. Y'all can't stand it. You're a little boy. Sit down. The king is home. It's over. Then after the Instagram live, 6ix9ine posted a picture with 2 million viewers with a caption that said, I'm still the king of New York. Now, a lot of rappers had other opinions to say, but instead of talking during the Instagram live, he decided to let it fly over Twitter. The biggest rapper that had a problem with 6ix9ine ended up being Meek Mill. Meek Mill served his time in jail, got out, and he's been doing well for himself. I mean, he even welcomed home a newborn baby this week. Before 6ix9ine went live, he got something to get off his chest. Philly-based rapper took to Twitter and he said, I hope that rat going live to apologize to the people he told on, the victim. Y'all forgot that fast? A rat killed Nipsey. He wasn't supposed to be on the streets. That's the only thing I'ma say, because he's dead. Let this baby mama and child like a coward as targets. 6 9 would respond quickly by saying, Imagine having a newborn baby come into the world and be pressed about a Mexican with rainbow hair. Now, he didn't see Meek tune into the live, but he did send out more tweets directed at 6 9 Said his new song was straight garbage. The tweet said, eh, Super trash. <laughs> You're going up 100 shots, stop. Turn Durko and Nav back on. And during the Instagram Live, 6ix9ine didn't say anything directly to me, but some of the shots seemed like they were aimed at him. 6ix9ine would say during the Live, to try to shit on a kid like me, but be Dirk like, yo, F that, crazy. he's a rat. Be like, yo, he ratted. A rat came home and did more numbers than me, I'd be mad Dirk too. Meek even took it as far as to post one of his old freestyles on Instagram. During the freestyle, he used the term rat. 6ix9ine would clap back by saying, imagine being this press. Nicky don't want you no more. With some laughing emojis. Now another rap legend that has a problem with 6ix9ine, Snoop Dogg. Yes, Snoop would go on Twitter and tweet out, Snoop Dogg. stop pushing this rat. All these media outlets make a snitch it cool. I'm old school. S 6ix9ine. And everybody pushing this line right now. Just film me on this. If you don't, F you too. If you allow this sucker sh then you're a sucker. Love you cuz. Stay sucker free. As of right now, 6ix9ine. Yeah, what's he called? Um, Snoop Dogg, he's always had something to say about it. He's been having, he's been talking about it. Like, like when it first, you know, they first started calling him and stuff like that. 
He's always been opinionated on that. Yet to respond to Snoop Dogg. Now, Summer Rap's biggest artist today started posting low key shots of 6ix9ine after everything he said during the Instagram Live. Trippy Red has been known for having beef with 6ix9ine. So after Trippy heard the song, he took to Instagram to state his opinion. All Trippy Red posted was a laughing face emoji. Tory Lanez took to Instagram as well, saying, I was looking at that two mil like, well, I'm gonna head out with a bunch of emojis. Now, Lil TJ was seen commenting SMH during the Instagram Live, and after 6ix9ine said everything on Live, TJ took to Instagram. Lil TJ posted a picture on his Instagram with the caption, Lil Boy. Shaking my head. I can't argue with one of those. F all that though. Zoo York video out now. RIP Pop Smoke. Then things got more interesting when Young Thug started the post on Instagram as well. Young Thug would post a picture of Lil Durk's new album with the caption, F a teller. Trippy Red commented on Thug's post saying, for real, with a rat emoji and a puke emoji. Exactly. And Lil Durk would also respond to the post by saying, <laughs> I was waiting on this, the blue heart emoji. And to wrap everything up, even Drake got caught up into everything. Now, Drake didn't respond with an actual post, but during his Instagram story, he posted something that got everyone's attention. Drake was watching CNN at the crib and he posted a photo. In the photo, it said, those reporting on non-essential businesses that remain open are whistleblowers or snitches. And Drake would caption the photo, CNN wants in on the smoke with a laughing face emoji. <laughs> Six Nine has yet to respond to any of these, but he's currently on the move finding a new spot to lay low. Hey, yo dog, if you don't click Drake on this cool. video. <laughs> so it looks like lyrics and he, he like, he has like a couple of channels. It looks like, um, it's like Rebound Central and like this other channel that ends with Central. I think that's like his thing. He just in a little bit of everything. That's smart. Um, but anyway, guys, thank y'all for watching. And um, I'll catch y'all on the next one. And like the Mamba said, I'm out.